Bas ra kilo ne kilo shele. Babimo. What happened to your face? It's not me. It's not me. Ah. What did? See, it's not as if I'm supporting him, but what did you do? I don't do anything, no. Is it is it that you favor school fees? He used to go and drink. And now I think, pay. why? Why? Who walk by me? Ah. What kind of useless person is Baba Favor Seth? You rubbish one. Yeah? I don't understand. Why you come out by useless? Eh? Why you come out by useless? Jo, 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 jo. Do, 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 you sort my husband. Ah, that's somebody father. That's my husband. Jo, ah. That's why nobody has married you. You are, you are the way you are. Which side did you come from? Is that how that's true? But I pass. Pass there and get out. I do a caution. Be good and put what in your mouth. Yeah, you go. Yeah, you, nobody marry you. Hey. You are not anybody. But yeah, oh, Mrs. I'm hey. somebody, right? Mrs. Somebody. Hey. Mrs. Somebody. Yeah, that's yeah, somebody. Yeah, that's somebody. Yeah, that's somebody. You don't have us back. Thank you. Where yes. are you going? My daughter, I'm going to get back. What is your. What oh, bring back bad market for me this early morning? Yeah. Oh, Making it over and boom me. Ew. How dare you? Why are you not looking? Why are you 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 looking? Life doesn't happen like that, okay? You cannot force someone to love who they don't love. You have six years to tell her that. No, babe, come on. Hey, you're going to death! Do I look like a joke? Where have you been? Because I know for a fact you're not going to get into this house. Another no, What are you trying to do? What is it? Ow! Oh my God, I'm your bad I'm warning you! Hi beautiful people, thank you and welcome to a spanking new episode with me. If this is your first time meeting me, my name is Chacha Wabara and um, welcome to my returning subscribers and viewers. Thank you, I appreciate you. So today we'll be reviewing the movie, a 2021 Nigerian movie known as Ataro Do. Pepe, Pepe, go Pepe you. <laughs> so starring Bimbo Ademoye, Mofe Duncan, Odera Arinze, Kennedy Obionha, okay, Jessica Blessing Obasi, who played Basira in the movie, a friend of Bimbo Ademoye. Bimbo Ademoye's name in the movie was um, Dupe, yeah, and then Mofe Duncan, who was um, Gochuku. So, this movie is a simple movie, but I love the movie. I fell in love with the movie. I, I was somewhat disappointed, you know, um, somewhere, but listen, the movie was <coughs> wonderful. So, Atarido is in the movie Bimbo Ademoye owns a provision store, tells everything there. It's roadside provision store in the slums, right? Where you can you blend pepper there, you will sell crayfish, you will sell tomatoes, pepper, onions, you know, plantain, yam, everything. Where everything is inside that place. Yes, she, she is selling her words and she's living her life and she has neighborhood friends. Or neighborhood people that come to buy from her and she's okay on this particular day her friend basira came to see her with you know bashed face and tells her that her husband beat her up like i'm supporting your husband though but you know according to bimbo why did your husband beat you there must have been something that you did and she says no i just confronted him he took our child's you know money for school fees and he went to drink she's like eh come punish that your husband what does who does he even think he and basira said Come, 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 come. Why would you be insulting my husband like that? What would bring about that level? Uh -huh. That's why nobody is marrying you, blah, blah, blah. They're exchanging words. That was what caught me. It was natural. You know, life was hard. Life was difficult. Nigerian life, normal Nigerian life for Bimbo was difficult. Bimbo delivered the rose. The way she was blending the pepper, selling the pepper, like, come, see, there's no pepper 50 naira now. You understand? Why are you coming to come and buy pepper 50 naira, 100, tomatoes 100 naira? She can't, yeah, 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 uh, market, you won't come buy me this morning. Eh? Bad luck will just be coming. That bad luck did not even end that time. More bad luck came. We had um, Ogochiku's girlfriend giving her a slap because she poured unknowingly, you know, mistakenly poured pepper water on her. And the movie progressed. When she did that, this guy got down from his car, you know, to you know, hey come to apologize. Like I'm so sorry what my girlfriend did to you. And in that instant, he saw Bimba Moye and fell in love with her. So he started thinking about her, and um, his six years relationship 
just he just threw it like that and it was like you know what i'm going to settle with this bimba demon i'm going to make her my wife she's respectable she's homely she's blah 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 along the line he discovers that he graduated with a first class from university of Ibadan. And because of life and because of Nigerian economy, she decided to, you know, sell these small, small things to help her life and so. So he was like, oh, I will marry you. And as a matter of fact, despite what his brother said, despite what his mom said, you know, however way his mom begged, the girlfriend begged, he didn't listen to anyone and went ahead to marry Bimbo. You know, you will see scenes where Bimbo is like, see, you see nonsense. I will not take nonsense from anybody. How can you tell me to come and be cooking? You know, when both of us came back from party, we ate in the party, we came back, you are telling me to come and cook. You know, from nowhere she slaps him, he now begins to see that she has serious anger issues. Those anger issues that he was all, you know, all over the place, his former girlfriend, his ex. He saw that this one here, she has anger issues times 20. You know, she started hitting him, beating him, giving him scars and all that. And he would take it right now he, his younger brother who was also living with him you know didn't find it funny he told his mom they were like huh this girl Ogana, she will leave blah 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 is like listen this is my wife this is my home this is my family i don't know what you are talking about leave us for us to sort ourselves out okay fine and good now bimbo pushed her husband you know she kept on provoking her husband she kept on you know doing things that you know make making him lose his temper this guy will pack his things and will travel when he comes back where did you go to how can you come into my house baba is like come oh, which house house that i bought with my money because the guy was well to do house that i bought with my money why can't i just come in and have peace sorry for the noise how can you just be stressing me and in one instant he you know gives her a slap and she just like you know hey, hey she couldn't believe it she ran to basira her friend you know that basira that i was back with her the first time basira is like woke up you no, know, is everything that i will support you but you see this one eh whoa who makes you do all those things who makes you give your husband hard time and you know your husband worships you go and you know apologize to him and you know don't be doing those things that you've been doing you know so that was what happened she went back she started trying her you know she became a calm and she started just trying so that um, they would live in peace but now see the other snag someone a guy just comes from nowhere and which develops into another plot and says and she now says she runs to basira and says hey austin that member austin say hey, austin is dead now say no austin is still alive for oh, blah 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 and blah 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 now listen loved that atarudo i loved how the character of bimbo proved. in fact the character of bimbo was already established the foundation was already there to blossom it was wonderful i even li i liked what more you can see both of them that those two the pair and basira this jessica um, Olisa, they were wonderful. Everyone was delivering their roles. Although the girlfriend of Fedon Kamira, she was a bit thief and was a bit fake at the beginning, but later on she picked up, which is wonderful. But I didn't understand how, you know, it was as if they just changed it. Somebody just came to the middle of the plot and just said, you know what, let's just change it. Add something. If not, you to make the thing boring. Add something. If not, you to make the thing boring. But instead, this developing plot that they put in, this new plot that they put in, just, you know, messed the whole thing up. It would have been better if Bimbo Ademoye gets back home and Mofe Duncan begins to, you know, you know what, you've put me through hell, I don't want you anymore, or blah, you know, it would have made more sense than somebody coming out from nowhere and him coming to say he was her husband before and all that, but all fine and good because, as usual, Bimbo Ademoye and Mofe Duncan tried their best and they did well to steer the movie, you know, into into some sense you know some sensible sense okay so that was what even made me continue watching the movie because i just wanted to i couldn't just leave these two beautiful actors you know and like close the screen the lady that played mofet duncan's mom she didn't deliver the role properly at the beginning why they always keep picking up at the middle like maybe when they wake up and be like oh oh it's remaining two scenes so ah let me pick up let me pick up 
they now start picking up. At the beginning of their roles, they don't do well at all. They don't do well. If not for Mofe Duncan and Bimba Demoya, I will not be watching the movie. But all in all, the movie was a wonderful movie. You know, the lighting was good. The location was awesome. I love those two children that came to buy pure water and pepe. You know, when Mofe Duncan came for the first time, they are like he wanted to help Bimba to sell. You know, the way those children kept on saying, I want to buy pepe, I want to buy this thing, and they were just busy focusing on Bimbo or Mofe Duncan without even, you know, they had no, there was no self-consciousness like they were in front of a camera. That was awesome. That was beautiful. Those are the things I look at to, you know, on this, to know how much effort was put into, you know, the making of the movie. So, other than that, other than this uh, plot that brought nothing for me as, as I was, as well, as far as I was concerned, you know, that second plot was nothing was wasn't necessary at all the other thing was the way they ended the movie it was like they were in a hurry to end the movie ah, we, we didn't even see the way bimbo was even begging she didn't beg too much everything even when she this guy found out that she was pregnant nothing nothing everything was just ah, I wanted to support this good movie. They didn't even give me time to support the movie. But in, I would rate, all in all, I would rate this movie a 6 over 10. If these mistakes were not made, this movie would have been awesomely awesome. Which brings my movie review to an end. If you're looking for more of my movie reviews, my Nigerian movie review, you'll see the suggestions and my end cards to pick up what other reviews you're interested in. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.